Hey, let's see if the document camera has enough memory to do a short description of the hydrogenation of alkenes. And hydrogenation of alkenes simply means we're adding hydrogen. Hydrogen is H2. So we're going to add a hydrogen to each carbon of the alkene, and that's going to make an alkane. So it's fairly straightforward. Now this one mechanistically, we're not going to do like the other ones we did, the other additions. We form carbocation intermediates and everything because the nature of the catalyst is a little different and it's going to be harder to pinpoint which electrons are moving where and when, at least for us. So you're going to take an alkene like ethylene here, you're going to add hydrogen, and the catalyst is going to be platinum or palladium or some other reagent that helps to activate both the alkene and the hydrogen, and that'll just give you the alkane. So if you start with ethene or ethylene, systematic and common name, you'll get ethane, which is its only name really. So ethene plus hydrogen gives us ethane and the platinum palladium catalyst. Now what happens with the platinum and palladium is you have a surface of platinum that has a lot of platinum atoms on it. And this will do a couple of things. It's actually sort of cool that a platinum atom has the right orbitals and everything to bond the ethylene to it like such. So there'll be some platinum carbon bonds. So it's like there's an addition reaction between the ethylene and the platinum to add the platinum atom to the ethylene or vice versa. So that'll help to activate the double bond towards reaction. Then the other thing that the platinum does is hydrogen essentially acts sort of like a metal and goes into the platinum. So you'll have little hydrogen atoms or protons and so let me draw some more platinum atoms in here and that guy just made it look like the hydrogen is really huge. But you end up with a whole bunch of platinum atoms in the platinum solid. And for platinum and palladium, they can hold more hydrogen than liquid hydrogen itself can hold in terms of hydrogen density. So what happens is the hydrogen atoms go in and as I visualize it, sneak into the little spaces between the platinum atoms and then with the metallic bonding you have the sea of electrons the hydrogen contributes its electrons to the sea of electrons so you have the hydrogen hydrogen bond has been broken and you have these reactive little hydrogen atoms that are all in the platinum they dissolve into the platinum and make an alloy so now the hydrogen atoms are activated the alkene is activated and eventually this hydrogen will find its way to go bond to this carbon. So these electrons will go ahead and go grab an H plus from in the metal and so it's very different. There's also going to be some hydrogen atoms on the surface and etc. But we're not able to draw the same type of electron pushing necessarily but it's very important to know that if you wanted to hydrogenate an alkene you would need a platinum and palladium catalyst to make the alkane. And the other thing that's noteworthy is a lot of these reactions we're doing with alkenes, addition reactions, hydrogenation, hydrohalogenation, you could also do with alkynes. So if a pi bond in ethene will react, a pi bond in ethene or acetylene could react in the same way and sometimes then you'll have two reactions because the ethene can react to form ethene, the ethene can react to form ethane. So a lot of times you'll see similarities between different functional groups. Alkenes and alkynes sometimes react in the same way depending on what the reactant is. So sort of a quick and simple addition reaction. You need palladium or platinum catalyst to get 
hydrogen to add to alkenes to make alkynes.